Jason, I'm going to appoint you to the committee. Mr. Eastlake, do you mind if I appoint you to the committee? No. Mr. Eastlake, and they can uh, appoint members. And Colin, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the two members can gain other members as they see fit, and they can tell me when they're going to meet. Um, that brings us then to B.2.8, which is retrospective improvement. It's on page 24 of your agendas. No, wait, what about, oh, right. Yeah, that's right. This motion has been split into three separate clauses. For what purpose does the member rise? Okay, please. Come up to the microphone. Ruth Sachter, I'd like to um, move that we take up the third item la first. I have, I have a, a question. Three point whatever three last, and then one and two? No, first. first right, yeah, three point whatever three first, then one, then two? Yeah. Yes. Okay, just because if we're gonna make an order, we should make an order. All right, there was a second. Do we need to debate reordering? No. Thank you. All those in favor of starting with three point, I don't remember the number. 313. 313.3 three first, and then one, and then two. All right, hands down, all those opposed? No. All right, we're gonna start with 3.13.3. .3. It has four minutes of debate. Um, Mr. Eastlake, I believe you're the maker of the motion, so would you like to make a speech in favor? Sure, I gotta do it from here to save time. Uh, I believe in all cases, Worldcons that have printed you, lists of Hugo Award winners have distinguished retrospective Hugo winners and indicated when they were voted, but there is no requirement that they do so, so they could, for example, print the 1939 retrospectives in their list as if they had been awarded in 1939. Uh, and this would simply impose the requirement that they note that they were retrospective and when they were voted. Mr. Bloom, a speech against? Yes. Mr. Chairman, I'm Kent Bloom, and I would like to, to, to move to convert this from a constitutional amendment to a resolution of the business meeting as this level of detail, uh, instruction to, the, uh, to, to world cons is essentially, in my opinion, a uh, wasted effort. You can't, you can't do anything about it by the time you even find out about it. It's already done. But I do agree that it's a good idea and should, should, should therefore be recommended. Is there a second to is there any objection to changing this into a resolution? Objection. All right. Do we need to debate changing it into a resolution? No. no. Good. <laughs> um, all those in favor of changing this clause into a resolution, raise your hands. All right. Hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the no's have it. Division. Far from convinced. Uh, there's a call for the division. It was a large empty hole. <laughs> uh, there were multiple calls. <laughs> Smoppish exercise. <laughs> yeah, I, Kevin Stanley, Mr. Chairman, normally I wouldn't raise the point of order in this case, but I think it will save more time. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask a show of hands of how many people wish for a division, noting that it takes 20% of the people present in the room to call for one. All right, all those in favor of a division, for the record, I did believe the motion failed. All right, I don't think we have 20%. Therefore, the no's have it. This remains a uh, constitutional amendment. Does anybody else wish to speak in favor of the clause? Is there, are there any objections? Seeing none, we're going to vote on 3.13.3. All those in favor, please raise your hands. 
All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. 3.13.3 goes on to Worldcon 75. Now we're going to do 3.13.1. Don, do you want to give any more? or This also has four minutes of debate time. And this is a very simple cleanup. It makes it less wordy uh, it, uh, in that it doesn't give an explicit list of how many of the multiples of 25. It's just any multiple of 25 years later you can award a retrospective Hugo. It removes the clause about not having to include uh, items that don't have sufficient nominees because that's generally true of all Hugos. There's a general clause that does that. The only thing it really adds is that permits retrospective Hugos to be awarded if a Worldcon wishes to do so. and is in held the right year for the years where there was no Worldcon because of World War II. It seems to me just bizarre to be able to have retrospectives for 39, 40, and 41, but not have them for 42, 43, et cetera, until uh, the Worldcons resumed after World War II. Is there anyone wishing to speak against this motion? Seeing none, Mr. Shirt, for what purpose does the member write? Whatever. Yeah. That's enough. Who can be Fred? Who can? What? <laughs> You're Fred now. <laughs> I speak against this motion in the fact that who's left to remember who read really what was good in World War II? Let's face it, most of the people from that year are dead. Let's be honest. Getting this is getting a little ridiculous. Even this year's retrospectives, we're wondering was it in, was it out? Who the hell knew what it was? Is there anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the motion? The gentleman right here. David Dyer Bennett. Um, I found the retrospective Hugos this year much easier to nominate for than the current Hugos. <laughs> With tools like ISFDB, it was easy to check out the names that were there, and I recognized most of them because I read them when I was a teenager. I was not so old that I was actually there when it was happening, but in fact, there still are people who know and care about that period, and I found it easier th than the current ones, which is probably a criticism of my current reading. That's a separate issue. Is there anyone else wishing to speak again? Ms. Helton. David Dyer Bennett. Yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Stacy Helton. This text also removes the requirement that it be up to 100 years. This text allows it to be any exact multiple of 25 years, which means it could be 200, 250, 500 years down the road. I am extremely opposed to that. If they are no longer, if all of them are no longer alive, I do not see the point in honoring them at that point because they are not around to recognize the honor. Can I get your name? For, for what purpose? Speech in favor? Thank you. You have 30 seconds. Leanne Hildebrand. I just want to say that while I know there's a concern about whether or not the honorees are alive or dead or who's been reading them, that the Hugos exist as a larger cultural phenomenon within fandom and we've included things like retro costuming and dancing and all of those things are part of acknowledging our heritage of fandom, not just the small concern about whether or not there's someone alive to appreciate the award. That's why I'd like to see this expansion happen. Thank you. Mr. Richards, for what purpose? Oh, okay. That doesn't help. Okay. How much time does he have? Seven seconds. No, more than no. More than a okay. Go ahead. Just, I know who you are. I'll. <coughs> Mark Richards. Um, Thank you. While I appreciate the concept of recognizing our heritage, I, I am. Uh, I have mixed feelings about the retro Hugos to begin with. I really don't want to see them entrenched as a permanent part of the Hugos right now as they are constituted 